students today i will be discussing some previous year questions based on photodiode these questions came in jntuh examinations coming to the first question when 3 into 10 to the power 11 photons each with wavelength of 0.85 micrometer are incident on a photodiode on average 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 electrons are generated okay determine the quantum efficiency and responsivity so this came in the year 2019 3 into 10 to the power 11 photons and their wavelength is 0 0.85 micrometer these photons are incident on a photodiode and because of that we are getting 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 electrons and it is asking us to find out the quantum efficiency and responsivity whenever a question is given first you need to figure out what are the given data and what we need to find out from those data let us see what are the given data first it is given the rate of photon incidence from here you can see this is the rate of photon incidence because these are the photons what are being incident on the photodiode so it is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 11 what is the next data given rate of electron generation from where i am taking this this is telling that on average 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 electrons are generated so this is our rate of electron generation so rate of electron generation is equals to 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 what else is given that is the wavelength of the incident light that is 0 0.85 micrometer so these are the three given data and from this data so we need to find out quantum efficiency and responsivity once you figure out what is given and what you need to find out then you have to think whether you have any equations which relate these quantities okay so first we need to see can we find out quantum efficiency and responsivity from this now coming to the answer we know that the quantum efficiency which is denoted as eta that is the ratio between rate of electron generation and rate of photon incidence i have discussed in detail about the quantum efficiency in previous videos if you want you can go back and listen to that videos okay so this is the formula for quantum efficiency let us see whether these values are given in the question okay so these are the given data with us we need to substitute rate of electron generation is it there with us yes it is there so rate of electron generation is there and also we need the value for rate of photon incidence that is also given to us then our job is done right so we can substitute these values eta is equals to rate of electron generation that is 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 so it is 1.2 into 10 to the power 11 now rate of photon incidence that is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 11 now this is a simple calculation from here i can cancel this 10 to the power 11 from both numerator and denominator so eta will be equals to 1.2 divided by 3 what will be the value that is equals to 0 0.4 so we get the value for quantum efficiency is equals to 0 0.4 once we get the quantum efficiency next we need to find out the responsivity did you remember the relation between quantum efficiency and responsivity that also i have discussed in our previous video you can listen to that video if you have not gone through now 
this is the equation which relates quantum efficiency with responsivity this r lambda is nothing but responsivity eta over here is our quantum efficiency which we have already have found out okay and here this lambda is wavelength of the incident light further this equation is valid when we are considering the value of lambda in terms of micrometer okay now from here i can write r lambda is equals to eta into lambda divided by 1.24 okay from here if i'll take this lambda will go to the numerator and this 1.24 will come to the denominator so responsivity is equals to product of quantum efficiency and wavelength divided by 1.24 24 but here you should take care that this lambda whatever you are substituting that must be in micrometer now let us check whether we are having all these values or not eta we have already found out that as 0.4 lambda is the wavelength that is 0.85 and this is in micrometer okay so we can substitute these values over here so r lambda is equals to 0.4 into 0.85 by 1.24 once you do the calculation we will get r lambda is equals to 0.274 ampere per watt this unit comes over here because the responsivity is the ratio between the current generated and incident power and current is always in ampere and power is in watt so responsivity is represented as ampere per watt so finally for quantum efficiency we got eta is equals to 0.4 and for responsivity we got it is 0.274 ampere per watt so this completes our first numerical now coming to the second one a silicon photodiode has quantum efficiency of 65% with photon energy 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule okay its band gap energy is 0.67 electron volt calculate responsivity further you need to calculate incident power required to obtain a photo current of 2.5 micro ampere this incident power is represented as po or p not okay this question also came in the year 2019 may exam first we need to write down the given data what are given over here the quantum efficiency is given as 65% that i can write as 0.65 this is given in percentages so i can write it as 0.65 what else is given the photon energy is given so photon energy equals to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule the band gap energy is 0.67 electron volt and here it is given the photo current is 2.5 micro ampere the photo current is 2.5 micro ampere so these are the data given to us we need to find out responsivity and incident power now coming to the solution the quantum efficiency is equals to h nu by q r lambda there is a video named performance parameters of photodiode in that i have discussed all these parameters okay so quantum efficiency eta is equals to h nu by q r lambda here h is the planck's constant nu is the frequency of the incident light q is charge of electron and r lambda is our responsivity okay we are asked to find out the responsivity so just by reshuffling this i can write the responsivity is equals to this q will go here so it is eta q and this h nu will come to the denominator so r lambda is equals to eta q by h nu 
so these are the given values what we have wrote in the previous slide now let me check whether we are having all this data with us eta is quantum efficiency okay so is it given yes it is given as 0 0.65 what is q over here it is not given but generally this is a known quantity that is charge of electron okay 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this planck's constant is a known quantity nu is the frequency but h nu what is h nu that is nothing but energy and that energy is given directly to us this photon energy is given so value of h nu is given eta is given q is known to us just by substituting we can calculate the value for responsivity so from here i wrote eta is equals to 0 0.65 q is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and this is the photon energy which is equals to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 19 right from here i can cancel this 10 to the power minus 19 from denominator and numerator i left with 0 0.65 into 1.6 divided by 1.5 so just by doing this simple calculation i can write r lambda is equals to 0 0.693 ampere per watt this is the unit for responsivity okay so r lambda is equals to 0 0.693 ampere per watt so first part is over now coming to the second part that is asking about the incident power for a given photocurrent we are getting this much photocurrent and what is the incident power you need to figure out the relation between incident power generated photocurrent what is the relation between them okay that is given as r lambda that is responsivity is equals to generated photocurrent divided by incident power right so this is the definition of responsivity and we have already calculated the value of responsivity right generated photocurrent is also given to us and we need to calculate the incident power so from here i can write p naught is equals to ip by r lambda now this is just a substitution we have to do over here so p naught is equals to ip is equals to 2.5 it is microampere so i am writing it 10 to the power minus 6 okay so 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by r lambda is from here i have taken the value 0 0.693 just by doing this calculation i can write p naught is equals to 3.607 into 10 to the power minus 6 watt or i can replace this as 3.607 micro watt 10 to the power minus 6 watt is nothing but micro watt right so this is the incident power required to generate a photocurrent of 2.5 micro ampere now we have calculated both the quantities right responsivity we found out as 0 0.693 ampere per watt and the incident power required to generate a photocurrent of 2.5 micro ampere is equals to 3.607 micro watt so this completes your second numerical today we will stop here if you like the content of the video please press the like button and share the link with your friends also do subscribe to the channel to get the notification whenever I am uploading a new video. Thank you all.